Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally happening. After what seemed like years and years of waiting, we have finally arrived at the 2021 NCAA Track and Field Championships, and the talent in these collegiate athletes is truly remarkable. In the qualification rounds on day one, we saw Sean Maswanganyi throw down in the 100 meters. We saw Cole Hawker from Oregon once again do Cole Hawker things in the 1500. And in the 4x100 meter relay, well, these teams are making running under 39 seconds look remarkably easy. Indeed, the excitement and anticipation building into these finals is certainly intense. However, none of these events are even close to as intriguing as the men's 200 meters. Throughout this entire outdoor season, this half-lap race has been epic. Not only has Terrence Laird from LSU been ranked as the world's number one athlete since late March of this year, but there are also three other collegiate athletes, all ranked in the top 10 in the world this season, and this talent was on clear display in these semifinals. For these races, we saw Matthew Bowling and Sean Maswangani effortlessly qualify into the finals with times of 20.16 and 20.28. Following this race, we again saw Terrence Laird cruise through his heat with a qualifying time of 20.12. These races unfolded exactly as advertised, as each of these runners were very much expected to qualify through these races. But for this one video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the first qualifying race, which included none other than Joseph Von Belay from Florida. Now, what separates this Florida sophomore from the rest of the field is two very unique running characteristics. First, and no disrespect to Von Belay here, his start is not so good. Against the other athletes in the field, you can clearly see that through the opening stages of his races, he definitely struggles to get out of the blocks. But what really makes Fon Belay such a standout sprinter is his absolutely unbelievable second half of his races. Earlier in the 100 meter qualifications, he once again struggled to get out of the blocks. And at this point of the race, you might be thinking, there is simply no way that this man could make it through this heat into the finals. But against all odds, he turned on the jets and somehow made it through this heat. This 100 meter race was definitely unique, as he made up a staggering amount of distance on the rest of the field. However, his 200 meter race was even more incredible. For this opening heat, Fon Belay once again struggled with his start. However, his second half was pretty insane. With an almost superhuman final 100 meters, Fon Belay absolutely stampeded his way to victory with a time of 20.04 seconds, which, considering his slow start, is quite remarkable. Also for this performance, the track surface was super wet, given that it rained only about 30 minutes earlier, only adding to the true impressive nature of this performance. For Fon Belay's opening 100 meters here, he hit a time of approximately 10.47 seconds, and for his final 100 meters, well, Fon Belay hit a time of approximately 9.57 seconds, which is one of the fastest final 100 meters ever run in a 200 meter race. This guy truly finishes like a train, with his extraordinary stride length and the kind of sprinting momentum that is rarely seen in athletics, it's only a matter of time before he makes his mark in the sprinting world. Now currently, I still have Terrence Laird from LSU as the favorite to win this 200 meter final, as he's already run under 20 seconds on four separate occasions this season. However, if there is one athlete with a chance to take down this seemingly unbeatable LSU athlete, it has to be Joseph Von Belay from Florida. Indeed, the talent for this 200 meter final is pretty amazing. Not only do you have Terrence Laird and Joseph Von Belay, but you also have Matthew Bowling from Georgia, and do not sleep on Sean Maswangani from Houston, who looked incredibly fast in his opening rounds. And now I want to hear from you guys. Who do you think will win this 200 meter final later this evening, and just how fast will they run? Leave a comment down below and share your thoughts. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.